From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a major night with exciting great news as massive stimulus is coming. We'll go over in tonight's recording of the major stimulus as inflation relief stimulus checks, ISCs, have been announced. We'll go over the latest details on these big checks coming from your state, their ISCs, inflation relief stimulus checks to battle that inflation that's hitting the U.S. economy. Then, those incredible checks, A2Q, F. SC, federal stimulus checks, huge from the federal government, and it's upwards of $300,000. It's from the federal government, so it's for you. It's in every U.S. state. Then jumping over to those LSCs, lifetime stimulus checks. The raise of your benefits, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rental Benefits, and Veterans Benefits. We'll go over the big money coming to you into tonight's recording. All those incredible checks, those ISCs, those FSCs, LFCs, amount to massive MSC, baby. Monthly stimulus checks, at least $2,000 a month over six months. We'll go over the incredible great news tonight in this big broadcast. Plus, we're dealing with other breaking news as well. A major union strike in Great Britain could cripple its economy and supply chain disruption that could impact us this holiday season. This is breaking news you did not even hear an hour ago. Next, major news out of Western Europe. As in less than 24 hours, three pipes that feed all the gasoline, and that's natural gasoline, out of Russia blew up. What happened? All the breaking news on the Nord Stream catastrophe in tonight's recording. Meantime, for the first time ever, I will be giving you an uh, indication of how we're going to be tracking the storm, Ian, and more importantly, how to track your potential relief from FEMA. I'll be giving you guidance on where we're going on the story over the next two days as, as, as that storm barrels into Florida at a Category 4 tonight. My thoughts and prayers for the families across the board. We have also breaking news tonight on the two-year and 10-year Treasury note. It's brand new tonight and earnings. And then the latest details on gasoline plus the mess happening in England with the Central Bank. From the shores of San Marcos, California, big night recording, big money, and big exciting news. It all starts right here, right now, as Eating's LA gets underway. Good evening, everybody. From the shores of San Marcos, California, it's a beautiful night for September 28th, 2022, and the situation is ever-involving in Florida. I'll be touching back on what's going on with Hurricane Ian in just a second. Meantime, the destruction of three pipes of four that feed all the natural gas to Western Europe, Nord Stream, blown up. This is breaking news you're hearing right tonight. And then all the labor strikes that are now slated for England that could disrupt our economy this holiday season. This is also breaking news. A lot happening across the board. But the first starts of this recording are all great. Massive stimulus checks. Monthly stimulus checks. Far more than $2,000 over six months. Far more than that. It's a lot of money and a lot more months. The checks that are being covered in this recording that are coming to you are ISC, Inflation Relief Stimulus Checks. Then we'll be going over those federal stimulus checks, FFCs. Then we'll be going over that lifetime of stimulus checks. Those all add up to those MSCs. Plus, let me give you guidance on where we're going on this channel later this week and on this weekend. As Hurricane Ian touches base in Florida and moves to the north and moves to the east, I will go over how to apply for federal assistance as FEMA starts to announce things for respective states and, and that relief is, is, is slated, I'll show you where to go and how to apply for it. That will be happening later this week and over the weekend. So still with me all this weekend across the board because you want to get those applications in right away. We start tonight with the major story, which is the U.S. economy really falling apart much faster than expected. It was last week when the Federal Reserve met and I said that the two-year Treasury note was going to go to a 4% rate by the end of the month. 
It got to 4% by lunchtime. <laughs> it was just out of control. The rate had surged from a 3.7 about a week ago to a 3.8, 3.9. I said, I think it's going to go to 4. Tonight, it's at a 4.3. So, got that prediction right. It only happened sooner than I had predicted. So, where am I projecting that two-year note to go, two-year bond? I'm projecting to go to 5% by... Christmas, but maybe you'll be there by uh, breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> it's just out of control. I'll explain to you why in a second. The 10-year bond, meantime, broke 4% for the first time since 2020 tonight. Now, I was not with you on air yesterday live, but I had told you my projection in addition to the 2-year bond, also with the 30-year fixed mortgage rate, which is what everyone uses to buy a home, 30-year fixed mortgage rate. It was 3% earlier this year. Then it went to about 6% in recent days. And I said, I'm projecting it to go to 7% by December. Now, let's understand it. It was very basically 6% for just a blink of an eye, and it's low 6% earlier this week. Tonight is far over 7%. Nowhere in the history of this U.S. economy, or my experience, or anyone else's experience, have we ever seen a 30-year bond for mortgages, for buying homes, move so quickly, so fast, higher, it's such a short duration. This is going to blow the, the housing market. No one can afford a 6% mortgage. No one can afford a 7% per mortgage. And tonight on this channel, I'm predicting it's going to at least 8% by December. Of course, it may be 8% by this weekend. <laughs> it's just out of control. This, my friends, is why you have to get a stimulus check. In tonight's recording, we have a lot of stimulus, and I know it's a lot to digest. This is why you have to become a member. The membership newsletter delivered from me to you, via YouTube alerts, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, separates out all these checks. Because tonight, we have four, three major subject matters of checks. Then in there, we have about 16 categories of checks. Then in there, we have about 300 checks, about 300,000. It's a lot to even listen to and digest that's why you need this written up for you, and it's in the membership newsletter. Let's start with the overview. The overview tonight is, number one, that there is now brand new inflation relief stimulus checks. These come from your states. I call them ISCs. They are, number one, in almost every U.S. state. Number two, they're paid by the state with state funds. Number three, they're generally about a thousand dollars. Good money, but it ain't gonna survive. You know, it's not gonna pay your bills for two years of recession. I'll explain to you why you gotta get those FSCs in just a second. And number three, it's the same eligibility as all the other stimulus checks and cover in, in on this channel. Seventy-five thousand less, single individual, you can go get them. Married couple, one hundred fifty thousand less, you can go get them. The last qualification, you gotta have generally a tax return on file. If you're on benefits and you do not have to file a tax return because you don't make enough money, you can always voluntarily file a tax return. It takes all of 10 seconds. Just put in all the zeros or however little it is. File it electronically. It doesn't require even 10 seconds of work. In most states, they require that tax return on file so they know who you are and where you are to pay you those checks. I'll go over these incredible checks from their states in just a second. They are in almost all U.S. states paid by the states. The next checks are the checks you absolutely have to get. These are tens of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I have dozens of viewers who have gotten a hundred to two hundred fifty thousand dollars from this next category of check, this next subject matter of checks. They are FSCs, federal stimulus checks, because they're paid by the federal government to you. The White House, the federal government. The Congress, the federal government. People in D.C., the federal government. And there you go. We'll go over these incredible checks in just a second. How do you get them? You become a member. Then you go in the membership newsletter and you apply for them. I'll go over each check with you in just a second. The third checks that are coming to you are lifetime stimulus checks, LSEs, or otherwise known as raising up of your benefits, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and we're all benefits. This is upwards of about $5,000. It's huge. And tonight we have new breaking details about these as well. And what is being caused by it? Yes, rising gas prices through the roof in the United States. Out of control, out of nowhere in the last one week. We'll have the latest details on that. But first, let's jump into the other breaking news that's making history today. 
when you see that two-year bond surging out of control and you see that 10-year note surging higher than we've never seen since 2020, and a 30-year mortgage rate that you would buy to use to buy a home, it shows how this economy is falling apart and actually faster than I even I had predicted. I had predicted this all out for you. No one else did. But I never predicted that this implosion would happen so quickly and so abruptly. This is what we call on this channel the financial cliff. Tonight, you're really seeing the impact of the financial cliff. And here's an example. Let's do something very basic. Let's jump over to Lyft, the competitor to Uber, and Apple, the manufacturer of the iPhone. About less than two weeks ago, the reports were that iPhone sales in December were expected to be record sums, massive demand for the iPhones. Tonight, the complete reverse story. Insiders now report that Apple is pulling back on production of the new iPhone 14 line because they do not think that, that the surge in demand is going to materialize. They don't think the demand to buy the phone is going to be there. This is breaking news. This is totally different than just two weeks ago. Let's jump over to Lyft, the competitor to Uber, the ride-sharing company. Earlier this, this summer, we were reporting they were giving signing bonuses to get employees. They couldn't get anyone to drive. They were giving you uh, bonuses to sign and, and you know, you know, thousands of dollars just to get behind the car and, and behind the steering wheel. Tonight, no, the reverse. They now have a hiring freeze. They're no longer hiring anyone, and they will not be taking any applications for hiring. While Disney World, meantime, is closing all its theme parks because of Hurricane Ian, now Category 4 as of this morning, and also the same thing with United, United uh, Universal. BlackBerry is reporting smaller than expected earnings. And then uh, one story that really doesn't fit anywhere, but I want to go over with you, is that Biogen was up nearly 46% in pre-market trading as its experimental Alzheimer, Alzheimer uh, medication dramatically showed progression and promising signs in a brand new study uh, and that showed that it reduced uh, decline of functionality dramatically. So it looks like it's working. That is a fascinating story, which we'll be tracking across the board. A comment that came in this morning from Megan Horns Hornman, Chief Investment Officer at Vernonson's, said the markets are chopping. <laughs> chopping. Uh, choppy, like, you know, I'm chopping up some um, sugar-free Brussels sprouts. No, I... <laughs> The markets are a mess. No one wants to be buying anything or should be buying anything in these markets. Now, let's jump over to a big mess. Bank of England, which is the Central Bank of England. It's the counter, it's the counter to the United States Central Bank of J-PAL. You may say, what does that have to do with me, LA? Everything. The Bank of England today is under fire by U.S. analysts, including myself, as it is now buying bonds in England to create an artificially enhanced economy that does not resemble what the real British economy is. This is really troubling that when economies are falling apart, a central bank is trying to create basically a Neverland, a fictional, a, a theme park version of what the real economy is by buying bonds. It's not particularly good. And it's coupled with a breaking news story. It's brand new tonight. And there's two of them. Number one, that there's a major union debacle underway in Western Europe, especially in England, that they're threatening to go on strike during the holiday season, which would prevent the delivery of our goods to them during the holiday season and deliver their goods to us during the holiday season. Supply chain disruption, massive disruption anticipated. Another story we're working on well tonight, Nord Stream, which is the pipeline that feeds natural gas to Western Europe and could impact our gasoline in the United States or national gas. There's three pipes in the ground, excuse me, four pipes in the ground, three of them blown up in the last 24 hours. Russia did not take, uh, was upset that people blamed Russia for it. They do not know the cause of the explosion. Those three are gone and very troubling across the board. Let's jump over to Ian now in the Gulf of Mexico that impacts your wallet, your benefits, your oil, and more. Ian is a Category 4 as of the morning of, of September 28th and about to touch base on Tampa's shores on the 28th. It is a storm that is carrying 75-mile-an-hour winds southwest, uh, uh, strong winds, and is currently southwest of Naples, but it's heading north and will be potentially north by the time you see this broadcast. It has caused the closure of Walt Disney World, Universal Studios, and the Tampa and Orlando airports. Now, how does this impact your wallet? 
in addition to people that are there that are fleeing and they need relief for their families and their homes. Gasoline. Here we go. Over the month of June and July, I discussed my prediction on this channel that the U.S. price of gasoline would surge higher in September because September is hurricane season. And when hurricanes hit, refineries go offline. They turn them off. Well, here we go. This is what's been happening for the U.S. gasoline. And let's go over the, the summary and then go over the detail. Gasoline is going up a lot. In just one week, the highest surge of the AAA national average of gasoline in the United States that we have seen in nearly a month. This is big news for your benefits because this means higher inflation, more benefits, more lift of your benefits. Let's go over how much gasoline is going offline right now, and this could get worse. At the time of this recording, 190,000 barrels per day of oil in the Gulf of Mexico is offline. That would normally be online. According to the Bureau of Safety and Environmental Enforcement, BSSE, in a new statement obtained by Allied News. This is because of Ian. They had to turn off the refineries because Ian's hitting the area. That's number one. Number two, we have OPEC Plus, that consortium of countries like Saudi Arabia that meets on October 5th. They are reportedly considering cutting production by 1 million barrels a day. A lot of cut production. What is that doing to the price of gasoline uh, as of yesterday? As of yesterday... The U.S. domestic unleaded was 3.765. That's up a lot from a 3.2 just earlier this month. And this is big news for your benefits. We'll go over more about that calculation of your benefits in a second. But now, let's go into those incredible checks. This is why you have to get these incredible checks. Let's go over each of them, starting right now. Are you excited? I'm excited. The first check is the ISC checks, as I call them. Inflation Relief Stimulus Checks. These are brand new on this channel tonight. They are from your states. Virtually every U.S. state has them. The eligibility is the same as all the other eligibility stimulus checks covered on this channel. And they're not a lot of money, about $1,000 or less. Good money. I mean, it's good to get $1,000, but it's not going to pay for your bills for two years of a recession. And you generally have to have a tax return on file, so get that tax return on file. How do you get these checks? What do you need to know about these checks? Become a member. Go under this video. Join this channel. Open the membership newsletter. Go down to where check D, as in donut, is located. That's where I put these inflation relief stimulus checks because they're from your states. Click the link. It'll send you into a complete list of states. And under each state, I'll tell you the amount. And then I'll actually have a link to the state website that administers your checks, and you can actually track it or learn more about the check and where it comes and how it comes and more. It's all really exciting. Yes, virtually all states have these incredible checks. And as one viewer said, why have I not heard this on local news? It's really just not happening. They're not covering it. So if you've not heard it, do not assume it doesn't exist. Do not assume it does not exist. It likely does exist. Here in Los Angeles, I haven't heard about any of these. And yes, they exist in California as well. So that's really exciting. Down the membership newsletter, check D. It's the Inflation Relief Stimulus Checks, ISCs, but in the newsletter called Check D. Next, those incredible lifetime stimulus checks. Those incredible lifetime stimulus checks, that's based upon the raise of your benefits. And we're going to calculate this out in a second. But it's looking like the CPI-W for the month of September is going to a 9.0. What do you think? Jump in the live channel, write your comment. Do you think it's 9.0 or more if you know the answer already before we get to the analysis? Write the number and the comment of your state where you think you are. And then let's jump right into those incredible FSCs. Federal stimulus checks. They're from the federal government, the White House, and the Congress. And they're huge checks. Tens of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And this is what you need. They are from the federal government. You want to learn about them? I want to show you all about them. Let's start with those first three checks. Those first three checks are set up by the President of the United States in the month of March, and they're huge. And those incredible first three checks are absolutely incredible. Let's look at them right now. I affectionately call them Check A, B, and C. Let's look at those incredible first three checks right now. Check A. B and C were passed by the President of the United States by executive action in the month of March. Joe Biden. These are Joe Biden checks. The President. About $100,000. You go get them. 
single individual, 75,000 less, go get them. Married couple, 150,000 less, go get them. If you rent, if you own, if you have children without children, go get them. Same eligibility for all these checks across the board. Those are the first three checks, A, B, and C. Then Congress came along and Congress passed a bill. And that established checks E through A. That brought us to more forced stimulus checks. Now hundreds of checks, E through A. Thereafter, I found you more checks. I found you L and M, N and O, P and Q. Where are all these? Where are all these incredible checks? In the membership newsletter. Delivered to you Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. You go down in the membership newsletter and apply for these checks. Welcome the nearly 50 new members in the last 48 hours. You want to get these checks right today because a stimulus stampede is underway. Because a financial cliff is underway. You want to see those checks right now one at a time? Let's do it. I'm excited. Let's look at those incredible checks one at a time for people that open, who become a member. Let's start at the very beginning with that first check, check A. Check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check passed by the President of the United States in the month of March. Here is the graphic. $6,500 to $12,000, check A. And this is the check that Spelling got. Huge. It's the weatherizing grant check. How do you get it? You become a member. Go down the membership newsletter, apply for check A. Click the link. It sends you right into the application and go get that incredible check A. You're not done there yet. Go get check B in the membership newsletter. Go down to check B in the membership newsletter. Click the link. It sends you right in. And this, my friends, is monster, monster MSC checks. MSC, baby. Not $2,000 a month for six months. No. I'm talking about about $80,000 to $100,000 for 18 months. Look how good we're doing on this channel. I'm so proud of you. These incredible checks to check B are generally paying out to viewers of this channel 15, excuse me, 18 months of checks, five checks per month, their rent or their mortgage, and then their utilities. And it's absolutely incredible. All you do is become a member, then you go down to where it says check B, click the link, and go in and apply. We have the wonderful Frank Mancuso out of Florida who got check B. What did he write? He got 18 months of mortgage, 18 months of utilities, all he utilities, not one, <laughs> and 18 months of high speed. We had another viewer out of Florida who got the same thing, but a little bit more. She got nearly $100,000, nearly 100 checks for Check B. Well, that is lots of MSC checks, massive MSCs, far more than $2,000 a month for six months, but we're not done there yet. We then go to our next check. Our next check on this channel is Check C. Check C is just absolutely incredible. And Check C is massive sums of money for rent, utilities, and more. Let's look at that incredible Check C. Here it is, rent, utilities, mortgage assistance. The only difference between Check B and Check C is that while Check B and Check C are both 80 to 100 checks and are both about 18 months of checks, Check C in the membership newsletter gives you 12, did you hear me right? 12 places to get Check C. Yes, I give you 12 places to find 80 to 100 checks. That is insane. And there you go. That is the wonderful first three checks passed by the President of the United States, Joe Biden, of FSCs. Again, the first three federal stimulus checks, FSCs, A, B, and C. That all basically yield about a monster, 18 months of checks. Oh my goodness, about eighty to $100,000. Not that puny $2,000 a month for six months. It's incredible. But that's the first three checks. We got more checks. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go now to E through K. E through K are the next seven categories of checks. Seven categories of FSCs, federal stimulus checks. And these were passed, yes, by Congress. And there's just literally almost a check for everything. Here we go. Check E, $7,500 towards a car. F, $4,000 for a car. G, 30% off. H, $2,000. Deliciousness. <laughs> check I, we have an incredible $8,000. J, $8,000. Insane. I mean, this is incredible. Thank you, Congress. This is great. FSCs. And then K, can you imagine this one? $14,000, $14,000 of Check K uh, from Congress, FSC. Just incredible. Of E through K, we got checks for a brand new refrigerator, a brand new stove, home repairs in A through C. We got utilities, we got mortgage, we got rent. 
we literally got everything in E through K, and if that's not enough for you, I got more checks. <laughs> yeah, feel like the price is right behind curtain number one. No, that's the price is right. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Uh, or is that a, I make a deal? I, I did behind curtain number. I'll take what's behind curtain number L. Here we go. Stimulus L. So stimulus L is about a hundred thousand dollars of a loan interest free money. This is absolutely incredible. About $100,000 of loan interest free money and M, $4,000 of grab money. Incredible. That's for closing cost assistance. Just huge. Then when we go to the next check, we have check N. And check N is huge. What is check N? So check N is one of my favorite checks. And then we go to check N. Oh, check N is my favorite check. Is it your favorite check? I love check N. Why? Free, <laughs> a brand new free computer, a free laptop or tablet. Can you imagine? Oh, they give $100 towards a participating provider for that free computer, lab, tablet or computer. And most great tablets now are less than $100. So this is perfect. Plus free internet. Oh, that is Stimulus N. We continue with Stimulus O. And Stimulus O is just incredible. Stimulus O is zero down payment, zero closing costs for a brand new mortgage and zero insurance and no credit check. It gets even better after that. We have Stimulus P and Q. Now, Stimulus P is a wonderful 3% uh, mortgage, especially if you want to refi, and about $8,000 of free closing costs, grab money. Insane. So there you go. That is the totality of stimuluses A through Q, FSCs, federal stimulus, I'm always finding you more, and they average about 300 checks and about a whopping $400,000, $300,000, and they are from the federal government. Oh, we're going to go more, more about these checks in the big second half. Plus, we'll be turning next over to lifetime stimulus checks in also the second half. Why is this changing, these lifetime stimulus checks? Why is it going to be more? You heard it earlier today on Mornings Live on Air. It's because of gasoline. Gasoline's going higher, and if gasoline's going higher, well, you know what's happening and after that. Inflation's going higher. And inflation higher means your benefits will go higher as well. How much? All the latest details you need to know and more about these incredible stimulus in the big second half. I'll see you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues in the big second half. Oh, a beautiful evening to LA. Hope you're having a beautiful night. And it is a big week. We are certainly underway. And it's far from over. Your stimulus, your brand new, incredible lifetime stimulus heating up this big second half. Oh, so much to deal and so much to cover. It's all coming up tonight in this big second half. Your benefit raise, housing market, your unemployment, your force of the second half starts right now. On oh, evenings, LA. How are you? I hope you're doing well. It's hot here. It's hot here. Hot, not in a good way. 
<laughs> the heat came back. It's not supposed to come back in September. What's going on here? Talk to the weather gods. Tell them to switch their plan. Yeah, so I'm not particularly liking the heat today or the plants, uh, but they expect it to be the last hot day. But my thoughts and prayers are for the people in Florida and the neighboring states. Again, if you missed the start of this recording, over the next few days, I will be tracking the latest details of where you apply for assistance, stimulus. If you are impacted by Hurricane Ian, it's from the FEMA. I'll have the latest details of what you need to know uh, and uh, as it comes in, and I'll broadcast it on air across the board. Let's jump into that FSC where we left off and then go into those incredible lifetime stimulus. The FSC, what's the largest check I have for you? About $100,000. It's incredible. What's the smallest check I have for you? About $8,000. What's the fastest routing time? About two days. We had Johnny who started on a Monday by Wednesday at 45000 by Friday, he had applied for 15 checks, got seven approved, 50% uh, approval rate, which is about right, and he got $80,000 in three, in four days between Monday and Friday. What is the largest cl uh, cluster of checks you can get? That's really almost limitless. You can get up to these approximately 300 checks. Here is an example. A longtime viewer, Dragon, has had a big success story. She's a triple member to all three channels. If you have not watched LLA2, make sure you do. It's on fire the last few days. Remember, if you become a member of LA1, LA2, or LA3, you get that incredible newsletter. Dragon was at $140,000, and then she got more checks, bringing her grand total to another $30,000, bringing her up to $170,000. We have Margaret, who keeps on getting checks. We have Johnny, who we just went over. We had Mark, who was at 30000 He went to 166000 And then we have Lorraine, who was at 105. She went to 150. We have Nisi, who keeps on getting checks as well. These big success stories are there because that money is available for you. It's FSC. Of all these checks, what do I want you to focus on? FSC. I want you to focus on these FSC. Why? Because it's going to be a two-year recession. We're not going to be out of this recession until potentially 2024. And you need tens of thousands of dollars, and you need to get it right now because the situation is going to get very bad very quickly. You don't wait for it to get bad. You get the money ahead of time. That's what the expression, if you knew this channel, Purple Hawks means and why it calls Purple, Hawk, purple Bounce. I was originally called Mr. Purple because I was wearing a lot of purple on the show. So I said, you have the purple power. You can do what I'm teaching you. That became the expression of purple power. Then I came up with the expression of purple hawks to describe people who pounce and get money before anyone else. As soon as it becomes available, you pounce like a hawk, like a purple hawk. So this money is available today. You pounce, you become a member. You get these checks A through Q, this federal stimulus, FSC, right today. And I'll explain to you in a second why it's important to get it today. But first, let's go over to some lifetime stimulus. Lifetime stimulus. Get those fingers ready to loosen up. Here we go. We're going to get into the live chat. We're going to be typing and interacting. I want to see your com comments. I've been watching you. You're doing a great job. We're going to go over that lifetime stimulus right now. Once your benefits go up, they never go down. It's a lifetime stimulus. And the incredible lifetime stimulus is happening because of why? Because of inflation. That inflation is out of control and that lifetime stimulus is happening. And that lifetime stimulus is the raise of your benefits. Your benefits are determined by COLA, C-O-L-A. And it's going to be released in just a few days from now. That is cost of living adjustment. It will be released on October 13th. So where are we tonight? Well, COLA is determined by three numbers. The CPI-W for the month of July, the CPI-W for the month of August, and the CPI-W for the month of September. That determines COLA, and that determines how much your benefits go up. For example, once your benefits go up, they never go down. So let's say your benefits go up 10% this year. That's lifetime. That's lifetime stimulus. And this is why this is so exciting. But tonight, the breaking news on this as well. They're likely to go up even more because of what's going on with gasoline. So here we go. First, let's go over the numbers. On October 13th, we'll get the number definitively of COLA and the CPI-W for this month. The month of July was a C8.7 CPI, dash W. The month of August was an 8.9 CPI, dash W. So what is this month? I had previously recorded all last week and the week before, I predicted it to be 8.9% for the month of September. But tonight, I have a different answer. 
but I'll show you in a second what it is. Get in the live chat right now and write what you think that CPI-W for the month of August, will, September will be. Comment your state. Before we do that, let's analyze the parts that go into that number. Have the rents gone down? No, rents are 30% of CPI-W. They've not gone down. They went up 1% last month. Next, the medical bills, have they gone down? No, they went up 1% one, one last month as well, so they're not going down. That's easy. And then finally, the salaries, are they going down? No, of course not. They went up 0.2% last month. So those three numbers, very easy. Let's do some analysis as a family right now. Jump on the live chat. I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and I want to see your answers. First, eggs. Are eggs going up or down this month? So write eggs, comma, up or down, comma, your state. My answer Eggs, comma, up, comma, California. They've gone up a lot. Milk, next question. What is your answer for milk? My answer for milk is milk, comma, down, comma, comma, California. Milk, down, California. Now, most people do not see that happening in their states. I've seen people in the live chat. They've been saying milk up, so this is very interesting. Here's a new one tonight. Meat, is meat going down or up? This may depend on, you know, if you're a cattle state or you're not a cattle state. Obviously, California is not a cattle state. Don't tell Sirloin that. <laughs> but what's happening in meat? My answer, meat up a lot. Come in California, absolutely. What's your answer? All right, let's do the total grocery bill right now. The total grocery bill, groceries, comma, up. California. Groceries have really gone up if you're buying, look at that same item this month compared to the prior month. What's interesting why you and I are able to do this is because the Federal Reserve did not meet in the month of August. So they're not impacting CPI-W. And their meeting just about a week ago doesn't impact it at all because it's too late in the month. All right, you ready for the big finale? Here we go. What do you think is the CPI-W going to be for the month of September? Let's recap. July, 8.7. August, 8.9. I had said... Initially, up to this last week, 8.9, like August, will be the September number. But tonight, my answer is a little bit different. In fact, it's quite different. Last week, I said that, excuse me, earlier this week, I said, ah, I'm adjusting it up a half a percentage point to up 8.95. Why? Because the gasoline was starting to go up. And I said, if the gasoline continues to go up, I'm going to go to a 9.0. 9.0 up for an 8.9. Tonight, I am. Tonight, my prediction for the month of September is the CPI-W will rise to a 9.0, comma, California. What do you think? Jump in the live chat right now. Over today's broadcast in the live chat, I've seen some people actually say even higher than me. Why am I changing my analysis? You know why you're changing your analysis. Gasoline. All these component parts are going up. We got that. The milk and eggs, the, the, the rent. We got that. But the gasoline had been going down every month after month until two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, I told you that something had happened. If you remember the news uh, of this channel, you get that membership newsletter. Line one is the AAA national average of gasoline. It generally goes down about 10 to 20 cents a day over the last few months. And that day, it didn't. It was flat. And I recorded it. What happened? And I said, well, you know what we were talking about in the month of July? That once you come to September, we're finding these go offline because of natural events. Hurricane Ian was not here then. It did not exist at the time. And the gasoline was flat. Did not go down that day. Then, the day after that, the gasoline started going up a little bit and a little bit more. Then Ian formed in the South Pacific. Excuse me, the East Pacific. In, in the Atlantic. And then you saw it happen. The AAA national average of gasoline surged dramatically. No longer where it was and growing 20 cents a day. OMG. Gasoline is growing and rising dramatically, AAA national average, which is gauges how much your CPI-W goes up. And there you go. Because the gasoline is now suddenly rising very quickly and will continue to rise. Why? You heard it earlier in this recording. 190,000 barrels per day now turned off in the Gulf of Mexico by the refinery companies, because Ian is hitting, they have to, have to turn off the refinery so they don't destroy them. They're turning them off. We're losing all that gasoline. Less gasoline, higher prices. There you go. My prediction tonight, 
9.0 CPI dash W. So what's your prediction? Jump in the live chat. I want to see your comments across the board. So there you go. Where would this raise your benefits? I'm looking at about 11%, but there's a lot to go on. Maybe I'm overinflating. Maybe I'm underinflating. Remember, if you're on Medicare Part B, it will no longer eat up your uh, raise of your benefits. Why? Because Congress passed that incredible bill earlier this year that does not eat up Medicare Part that that stops Medicare B Part Plan B prices and premiums from going through the roof. That's gone. So that's part of the that is no longer part of the equation. Great news across the board. So there you go. That is your lifetime stimulus. Some of you will see five thousand more. Some of you see less. It's absolutely incredible. Inflation relief stimulus checks from the states. Lifetime stimulus for people who are of adult age or on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Railroad benefits. But the checks you really need are the FSCs. Why? Let's go over the why right now. In spring of this year, 2022, I was the only financial broadcaster to report the U.S. economy was going to suffer recession. When I said the word recession, people shook. They thought I was crazy. No one was dare saying the word recession. In fact, they were avoiding not to use the word recession. When Jamie Dimon, head of J.P. Morgan Chase, was asked about the same question at the time, he says, I don't want to use the word recession. It wasn't until the first bank, Deutsche Bank, didn't announce recession until April. I was reporting recession since February. I reported that the hurt of the recession is felt in 2023 for two years, and you're going to see a financial cliff in September. Financial cliff is basically the following. Walking along, singing your song, and then suddenly, oh, I fall off a financial cliff. Because today is very different than yesterday. That financial cliff, my friends, is happening right now. You see it. You see in this broadcast. Now, I knew there was going to be a financial cliff. You knew there was going to be a financial cliff in September. But looking back, I never would have thought the hit would be so austere, so dramatically different in just in a matter of a few days than ever before. I never would have thought anything like that. I thought it would progress throughout the month of September, take a few, you know, 30 days to, 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 to marinate. No, the 30-year mortgage rate, surging out of control from a 3% earlier this year to 6% earlier this month to now 7%, and could go even higher. That two-year bond, I mean, look at that. That was 3.7 just about a week ago. Now it's a 4.3. Could it be 4.5 by tomorrow? I mean, this is out of control. These are numbers that don't normally move this quickly. We have uh, we have the reversals of e simple guidance. How many iPhones are going to be sold in December? Here you go. A month ago, record sales are predicted for the iPhones in December. Today, record non-sales, record fleeing of customers. This is called demand destruction. People are not buying the products. And then hiring. It's hard to get employees. Everyone has a job. Got to give them a bonus. Got to get some signing bonus. That was what Lyft was saying just about 30 days ago. Now it's saying... We can't afford you. We're actually in a hiring freeze. Very, very dramatic, different turning of events. And this is why you have to get that force stimulus check in every U.S. state. That's why you have to get that FSC. Here's what you need to know tonight. Two years of recession. Two years of recession. If you think the times are tough now, they're going to be horrible. And ultimately, as a broadcaster, prides himself on keeping motivated, fun, and interactive, and having a lot of time and, and a lot of enjoyable interactivity in the shows, I still got to deliver with, a, with the right messaging. It's going to be horrible. It's going to be horrible in 2023 and 2024. And if you are sitting around and not doing your due diligence, not picking up the phone, and giving yourself time to go get checks, you're really wasting precious minutes because this is the financial cliff of September. And after that, it's going to get a lot worse. Here is what I want you to understand if you are getting these sums of money, if you are making the effort. I do believe in my heart of heart, and this is just my impression, that outside this channel, I think there's a lot of people who believe that people will come in and help them during a recession like they help them during a lockdown. A lockdown is not a recession. The original lockdown was viewed as three months, and that's why the first stimulus was really basically a three months of relief. The second, much the same. Second stimulus, about three months of relief. The third, about three months of relief. The fourth, I mean, you know, they don't envision to help you for two years in any of the lockdown reliefs of the last two years.
And I really do think that people believe in the back of their mind, if their business is in trouble because of recession, the federal government is going to help them. If their unemployment situation gets really bad because of, of the recession, the federal government is going to do another round of FPUC or PUC or something like that. And I really do believe that it's so close in proximity that they got the relief from first and second stimulus that they think the federal government is going to do another similar program. There is no indication that they are. And that is why the value of what a membership delivers to you is absolutely incredible. It's through the roof the value of this membership. You're not going to see this information in a magnitude and concise manner like this anywhere. You're not going to see it in broadcast media. You're not going to see it in print media. You're not going to see it on local news. You're not going to see it anywhere else. Then, what are they going to do with that local news? They're going to report in 2023 homelessness on the quarter, people losing their homes, people losing their cars. And by then, people will have big problems. And they'll be here asking for the stimulus. And you will have already gotten it because you don't want to fall off the financial cliff. You want to skip over it and be fine. And that's how you do it. So dedicate yourself the following. Time. Dedicate yourself time every day to go out and get checks and use the membership newsletter to help you. Here's the membership newsletter. Where is, and here are the worksheets. Here's the LL8 worksheets, which are in the membership newsletter. Around the third line of the membership newsletter are the worksheets. It's a PDF you can print off for yourself or your computer. If you do not have a printer, you can take notes on a separate piece of paper. You just look at it. You can download it to your phone and just sort of look at it and take notes. Tonight, what have we known about these worksheets? Page one, inflation. Inflation's not going down. It's likely higher tonight because gasoline's higher. Next, recession, two-year recession. And the commentary has really changed. February this year, I was the only one saying we're going to have recession tonight. It's basically two camps. One camp saying there's a recession, and the other camp saying a very dark recession. What does expression dark recession mean? It means financial calamity. I mean, financial, really bad things. People losing cars, homes, jobs, businesses, just really uh, a calamity. Do I believe there's going to be a, a dark recession? Absolutely. Uh, then we have labor. Labor falls apart later in recession. So we see, you know, the hiring freeze is starting right now, but it doesn't fall apart just yet. And there will be no FP, there is no FPC or PUC or any of that wonderful unemployment stimulus from 2020 yet here on this channel. Federal Reserve. Haven't talked about them in two days, but remember, Federal Reserve is going to raise those interest rates every meeting into 2024, said Jay Powell last week. Can you imagine? A 75 basis or 50 basis point raise of interest rates every meeting between now and 2024? Imagine a 7% mortgage tonight. <laughs> Where do you think that mortgage is going to go? Jump a live chat. Where do you believe that mortgage is going to go if J-Pal is raising rates all the rest of this year, all the rest, all of next year, and part of the year after that? Yeah, you can see a 9% mortgage rate. Absolutely incredible. Now, the next page of the worksheet is a really helpful one. That is where you keep track of all your incredible stimulus. You want to keep track of all your incredible stimulus. So go into this page. Remember, check A, check B, check C. That is nearly 200 checks just there. In the case of check C, you got 12 places to reach out to. So you got to keep track of all this. <laughs> you got to keep track of all that. Then you go to E2K, you do to L to M, N and O. You have a massive amount of stimulus to keep track of, and you want to do that. Keep track of all the incredible stimulus you're applying for, because I'll have more stimulus thereafter. There's a lot of stimulus happening, and the great news is that you are part of this incredible family. Finally, my meshes and prayers for the people of Florida and neighboring states. We know how hurricanes progress. They start with their path of destruction. Then they move and they drop water and they deliver rain and they deliver flooding and they deliver uh, and they, they deliver sometimes paths of other types of destruction. And that rain and wind will cause a lot of financial instability as well. And with that, I hope to have that sort of coverage on this channel in the next few days, as is announced by respective states and the federal government. I'll detail it because it, it will be something I've never covered before on this channel. It's important, and I'll feature it here for you. Keep the prayers and thoughts of those individuals 
in your in your mind remember that unfortunately when a hurricane hits there's often tornadoes so if you are in tornado alley please be diligent and keep those people in your prayer as well from the shores of santa monica california stay informed stay focused if you're watching the show on a later date and the storm has passed please be cognizant of that as well get all these incredible sums of money get these big sums of money because it's here now and the recession is also here as well I love you to death, and I look forward to seeing you throughout the night. The programming continues with Countdown every night at 6 o'clock. Strain and Stimulus every night at 7 o'clock. 8 o'clock is extra. 9 o'clock is sunset. And, of course, the nights always start with the breaking news at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time to 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on evenings. From the shores of San Marco, California, don't forget to become a member. Welcome to all the new members. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally for more.